Hello everyone and welcome back to Empyrean Galactical Survival, I'm the Super F and yeah, so last time we went a little bit around, made some <laughs> things, uh, yeah, and now I made a slight break, so I just prepared everything and uh, think a little bit about everything, and yeah, so as we experienced or saw, the hydrogen thing doesn't work so well, it's only for f for more complex uh, fuel packs, which is gonna be very useful, but not right now. So I decided to build a own two generator because I need oxygen right in the water, so we're gonna do this very very soon. Then, next thing. And you remember when I said I want to go to space? Well, I figured out that uh, it's like in the capital vessel, the warp drive is very, very big. Also the fuel tank, and I don't have uh, space in here. So I checked a little bit around. Also a little bit in the mod, no, in the workshop. So there were a few bases I saw, which were uh, were very interesting, in my opinion. So, um, on here, or maybe not base. Okay. Now yeah, this, for example, drill hole maker thing. You see, these are little drills because they uh, dig. So you can dig with them too, it's um, more, it's cooler, I think, in a way, it's also faster. <laughs> oh yeah, and this one, look at this, it's just incredible, this ship, isn't it? It's a, it's a fortress, it's a tank, just, a, just an unbelievable, like this one, or, yeah, the tank. So cool. But okay, uh, so I went a little bit through the Millennium, Millennium Falcon, looks very, very cool. Yeah, so as you see, I added <laughs> some new ships. <coughs> then I decided well, I didn't decide it was kind of obvious that I need a larger ship for uh, for warp. And well, sooner or later I just saw that here uh, in tier number 3B, no, even better, 3C, 4, as you see you need cytheum, neodium, I don't have, but now, boom, look at it, look at this. This large ship doesn't need anything, just the cobalt. And I have cobalt, so this is just amazing. So I can spawn this ship here, which takes 4 hours and 53 minutes. Okay, um. That's, I think, a little exaggerated, so let's quit. Yeah, so, um, sorry for a little cut. So I went to the options and I made, well, I edited them and I hope now that there are really changes. So it was four hours and now it should be slightly faster. Three hours, 25, okay. So it's the fastest time you can get because I really thought four hours and 50 minutes, it's, it's, it's just a little bit too much, isn't it? So this brought me to the idea that, uh, yeah, I just, it's, it's just too much, so I wanted uh, to make this vessel here, but it takes still 3 hours and 25 minutes, so it's gonna take a long, long, long time, but yeah, what should we do? What should we do? So, what I'm gonna do now is... 
go into the constructor and yeah, so let's do it like that. I go into this constructor, say everything he's got to, well, he needs to do, he needs to craft every all the iron and cobalt, etc., etc. And then we go down to the to the lake and put there the ox oxygen generator. And yeah, so I think that will be it. Well, that's my <laughs> little plan for today. Uh, one minute. I have to check you something. Good. So let's go into the Where is it? Uh huh. Bosch constructor. Uh, oh, I didn't notice. What do I need? Three thousand four hundred fifty iron and one thousand five hundred twenty-six copper. I don't know if I'm going to do three. Th 3,450 so 3,000 3,450 then yeah as, as I said I can't remember so well 1,526 Copper one thousand five hundred twenty six because this is one thousand. Uh huh. So one thousand five hundred twenty six. Let's do three. Then next thing. 1338 silken and 250 cobalt 1338 and 246 1348 silken 1348 and call it 130, is this okay? No, 246. Call it 200. 46. And one three five is okay. I hope so. Hi yeah yeah. Yeah, one thousand four hundred. One three four. And twenty eight plastic raw material. Yeah, one three five. I know it's one more, but it doesn't matter so much. 28 raw material, so for corn. Okay, we're gonna need corn. Okay, so let's start. Let's see if it does everything right. I think that's it. Oh wait, we can natural access from here the ingredients. No, oh, made food. So, oof. 
assuming I've, I've done everything, so I need four. One, two, three, four, five. Five. This should be enough. Twenty-nine plus two. Twenty-nine, twenty-nine. Twenty-eight, okay. Cool. Let's just put everything in it. So now we just have to wait. So the small vessel here is very, very good. But yeah, it's just too small, I think. Because you need to protect also this the warp and everything, because you when there will would be a drone in another galaxy or another planet orbit. <laughs> yeah, what do you do then? If it just shoots your warp drive and then you're there, you're dead. You're just dead. You can't go anywhere anymore. That's not good. That's that's really not good. Ten percent is perfect. No problem. Nice. Is there someone I can kill? No. with that. Let's put here the oxygen generator. Uh, that should be enough. Is something 102? Okay, still producing. I think I'm gonna need a lot of them, so I put a few more Promethean packs in it. Okay, that's it. Good. So materials should be fine right now. So the only thing we have to do now is wait. Almost. landing yeah so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go into space with a small vessel and all what we're doing we'll do is hunt a few drones I think that's okay so we'll fly around the asteroid belt and try to catch some alien ships in order to get more loot from them. Cool. Uh, do I have everything? Yeah, I do. That's it. Everything is full. The tomatoes. Look at this. The second fridge is soon full again. Just incredible. How fast this goes. This is producing and it's gonna take a while, so we'll have time. <laughs> and yeah, now we will have even more time because three hours. We, ha we will have three hours time until we get to the new. well, to a new planet. And I don't even have the resources, so I didn't even start the production, so it's gonna take a long, long... It's, yeah, it's gonna take where we're along. Let's see, I have enough power left. Yes, I do. 
Uh, munition is okay. Everything else is okay too. I don't need anything. Oxygen production is on its way. Oh wait, we can in the same time. In the meantime, we can go shooting some drone bases, maybe. So maybe we are. We should do that. Okay, there's a cobalt asteroid. This is maybe a good idea to conquer some bases because it's also possible even though you're uh, we're not a so high level or wait. Well we are in a high level, but the problem is we don't have the resources. Yeah, I think that's okay. So after having chased every drone here we're gonna go a little bit back to aqua and conquer some drone bases ooh promethium I should really mark this where they are so I don't have to search for them anymore So right click, accept, and marked. Beautiful. I, I I don't get why it doesn't do do it automatically, because it would be so easier, so much easier. But well, anyway, it's not the end of the world. I have to say, you can do this in five seconds. So yeah. that iron and a drone cancel prefab no iron accept come on little drone I don't see ya Oh, I forgot the suit. Okay, okay, okay. So we gotta be fast. Yeah, minus on the 30. Too cold. Yeah. But it's not the end. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. It's completely okay. Because... I just need to be one second outside, take the loot, and then I can go right back inside. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Copper! There are a lot of resources out here. So, where were I called? Mm, I wanna open all these little tabs because, yeah, as you see, 40%. Because I need to know if there is something damaged. Because if there is, it, yeah, it's a high risk. Cockpit, yeah. But it's er everything's fine, so no problem. really look forward to this bigger vessel because then there is in the outside layer everything well protected so we can accept and so I don't have to worry that a drone was because if a drone shoots you or uh, just a base 
If you're unlucky and it hits you right on your tank or on your generator, you're screwed. So it's always better to have a few layers of steel. And the best thing is having maybe one layer of this combat steel or something like that, that is, w which is very very strong. Because if you're gonna conquer the bases, the alien bases with your capital vessel, which sometimes you need to, well, then you, well, you are just a, a big dot in the sky and it's um, easy to, to hit you. I'm so so happy that they implemented this auto repair station because um, before you had to really search every truck and um, block by yourself and yeah it was just horrible and sometimes you missed something and then when you made a battle then maybe there was something you hit like uh, well, no, the enemy hit you right in that block, wha which was very weak and you didn't find. Mm, yeah, it's... It's just always better, you know, to have this thing, because it, it repairs just simply anything like that. You just uh, land on it, and you hear strange sounds, and then everything's repaired at 100%. So useful and this is interesting indeed very very interesting so the good thing is you know where the asteroids are so we don't have to search for them anymore but the interesting thing is that there are no more drones around here well it's kind of sad thing isn't it I thought there would there would be more, but no. But still, it was a nice it was a nice trip. And yeah, we received something, so better than nothing. This was it. So let's go back to Aqua and then let's prepare, let's craft uh, ammunition and everything else, and then we're gonna conquer some alien bases. Well, at least I hope. <laughs> because the best way are, well, missiles, but. Uh, we can't craft them yet. Well, maybe I can. I have to take a look at that. Oh, wait a minute. Hover vessels. Yeah, so we saw the big one here. But that's level 20, so nothing for us. So we need a warship. Look at this, how much weapons. Okay. This looks interesting. And what's so special about this one? Or this one? Yeah, yeah, that's a very, very cool. Uh, simply just... Simply cool, isn't it? Maybe this one, because this is very long, it has a lot of turrets and has uh, much other space for more turrets. So maybe I'm gonna also produce this one. It kinda looks nice too, you know, like a modern 
but yeah so sadly i have to finish this episode so if you liked it this little trip through space then don't forget to subscribe and also thumbs up this was a subref in imperial galactical survival have a nice day and bye